Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Pitbull Andre Arlovsky and Andre Bishop.
All right, so here he is at long last making his UFC debut. You hear so much about those famed octagon jitters and nerves. It's something he's gonna have to bottle here tonight. These lights are bright. He doesn't look wide-eyed making the walk here, but there might be an adrenaline dump if you do too much too soon. Nonetheless, the bigger story, this man finally has arrived at his UFC debut. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Arlovsky is eight years his senior. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre. And now here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 34 wins, 20 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Andre the Pitbull. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. This is his UFC debut, so finally getting to the big show. He's thrown together a long winning streak on the regional circuit. A lot of people thought maybe this UFC debut would have come last year. Let bygones be bygones. Here it is. We'll see what he can do. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Oh. And now he lands a combination. Look at the turnover in that kick. Hands up. Oh! And he oh. comes through with a big knee. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very Two bad. shots there. He landed a good uppercut there. Great punch. Good combination there by Bishop. Oh, nice right hand. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? They're certainly getting after it early. And they separate. Bishop gets hit with a kick. Now connects with a right. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! 
just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of one win, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Juggernaut. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So after a win by knockout in his UFC debut, here he is making the walk yet again. We'll see if he can move to 2-0 in the UFC, and that could set him up for a potential contender-type fight. This is a guy who is all the rage with fight fans right now, given what he did in the debut, and now you got to think he'll certainly have even more confidence as he makes the walk here tonight. He sets the elbow up into the target. Changes his stance. Oh, he, oh, he caught the kick there, and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him. Leggett's in tight, so he catches the kick there, and beautifully counters with his takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job. His nice liver shot lands. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Back to the feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Ooh, big knee. He hurt him. Oh, straight right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, I got it. Oh! Buddy to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he engages in a Another strong right tie here. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything land. Oh, he's so, He's hurt bad. I don't know. Wow. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. This is where he has 
done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh! He's out! He got him! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. go inside the octagon Bruce Buffer with the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes 14 seconds of the very first round declaring the winner by knockout Andre well he's smiling ear to ear and why not after a knockout like that I need to take it to the after party I mean this is what dreams are made of you dream of the knockout like this and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Alir Latifi and Andre Bishop. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot 
make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of two wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Ilya, the Sledgehammer, Latifi! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to harken back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big oh. knockout win his last time shots nicely here champ he's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes good punch. oh and he lands yet another uppercut so those strikes have come in bunches tonight really starting to find some consistency he's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time he's so confident in oh dude's hurt serve him up go get him oh nice jab well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, collar tie. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, big Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Massive knee to the body land. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, it's volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Switching stances here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he can... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Wow! Holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Oh, 
single collar that top here. Scramble, folks. snaps his head back yet again. His coaches are livid. They've tried to give him the right messaging in terms of adjusting. He hasn't been able to. He's not listening. At times, a fighter will make a determination, even if it's not in their best interest to fight a certain way. That is what he's doing tonight, and he's definitely paying for it. How good is that right hand? And they separate. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision.
Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 261 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Napalm. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back. Oh! Oh! So many different things right now. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. And he connects with the punch there. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh! Blocks the strike. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this one. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot and he drives his entire body into that hook. Good swell! He's out! He's done, he's done! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.